you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, we'll show the process for creating a web authentication portal. Let's get started. So here we are uh, logged into the Virtual Smart Zone High Scale. Uh, we're going to take a look at creating a web auth portal. Um, web auth is, is a means of authentication for a WLAN. So in a previous video, we talked about other authentication types for WLANs. We talked about uh, guest. We talked about standard. We actually showed the process for creating a standard WLAN um, that can be secured with either uh, WPA2 or WPA3 or even dynamic pre-shared keys. So um, uh, the WebAuth is another method for security that allows um, users to customize a WLAN so that a web interface authenticates to a backend, either Radius or LDAP or Active Directory environment. Um, so they would be able to additionally do things like push out user roles or, or attribute values that may classify those users in their own VLAN or give those users different firewall policies and things like that. So the first step to setting up the web auth is to kind of create the web auth portal. So under services and profiles, hotspots and portals, we are going to select the web auth tab. Um, we're going to then select the domain and zone that we want to create this web auth portal under and go ahead and choose create. So the, the web auth portal configuration is very simple. Um, there's not a lot here going on, but we'll explain it all. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just name the portal. Uh, in this case, I'm going to name it test portal. Uh, for the portal description, I'm going to leave it blank. The language I'm going to leave is English. Um, the first option here that we get to select is a redirect. So uh, after a user su successfully authenticates to the portal, what do we want to have happen? Do we want that um, user to continue to the URL that they typed uh, prior to getting to the portal, or do we want to redirect them? Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set up a uh, redirect to uh, a comscope Dot com website so that uh, any users that successfully authenticate um, regardless of what what address they were trying to visit they will be redirected right into the comscope site and then from there um, as long as we've not blocked anything further um, they would be able to continue as as normal as it intended so we've got the the url in there our next um our next configuration option is web authentication. So we can set up a web portal logo. Uh, if I hover this question mark, we can kind of see um, the recommended image size, 138 by 40 pixels, and the maximum file size of 20 KB. Uh, I'm not going to specify a, a web portal logo here, but this is what is going to show up in the in the uh, web auth portal. So right now, this defaults to a Ruckus logo. So if you've got a, a different portal for your company, um, you can you can definitely upload that if it meets the the image requirements. Additionally, you can change the title of the web portal. Um, this is what's going to display along with the logo. So if you have uh, a, cust a, a customer name or a business name that you want to put in here, you could certainly uh, edit this to reflect that. Um, and then the user session options. So we've got a few uh, configurations here that are already pre-populated. So we can see the session timeout is uh, 1,440 minutes or 24 hours. So the session timeout is how long is the session, uh, the web authentication session going to be valid? So after 24 hours of being connected, in this case, the user would be uh, re required to re-authenticate uh, to this web portal. Uh, there's also a grace period, a default grace period of 60 minutes. So this means if the user uh, successfully authenticated and then 10 minutes later got bumped, they would be able to reconnect without having to re-authenticate up to 60 minutes. So um, these these are obviously configurable uh, shown uh, with the parameters shown here. We're just going to accept the defaults and choose OK. So that is all we need to do to create a web auth portal. So you can see we've got test portal here listed under demo zone one. So this will be available to WLANs under demo zone one. So our next step is actually going to be to create a WLAN uh, to specify it as a web auth 
authentication and then specify this portal. Uh, we're going to do that in an upcoming video. So we want to thank you for, for viewing this and we hope that you can join us for future Smart Zone 5.2 demo series videos. Thank you for taking the time to view this brief demonstration.